Garmin Dash Cam Mini 2 Review The Garmin Dash Cam Mini 2 is designed to be a sleek, simple to use dash cam. It delivers high quality HD footage and has convenient voice control commands, making it easy to switch from one car to another. The intuitive mobile app pairs well with the camera and video quality are reliable, perfect for those who don't want too many features they won't use. The Garmin Dash Cam Mini 2 is perfect for those searching for the tiniest and most inconspicuous dash cam available. Extremely compact, and smaller than a keychain remote, this camera offers limited functions yet remains undetectable tucked away behind the rearview mirror. Despite its small size, the Dash Cam Mini 2 is able to capture full HD footage at 30 frames per second through a 140 degree lens. This may not be as impressive as the cameras offered by Garmin in its larger range which offer 1440p videos and 180 degree lenses. But 1080p is still a good enough resolution for this compact and affordable dash camera. The Dash Cam Mini 2 is incredibly small, with only the lens in the front and a connective ball and socket joint attached to a short arm. The adhesive pad attaches it easily to your car's windshield. Garmin Dash Cams are known for their magnetic mounts and the Mini 2 is no exception. However, it comes with a small plastic arm that occupies very little space on the windscreen. We believe most buyers will leave this camera permanently in place and only detach it for transferring to other vehicles or accessing the micro SD card by popping off the ball and socket joint. Regarding storage, the Garmin camera doesn't come with a memory card, so you'll need to purchase one separately. The minimum size for these cards is 8GB and it can support up to 512GB, Garmin recommends class 10 or higher cards. On the Dash Cam Mini 2, there are simply two keys. A button on the side toggles sounds recording off and on, while a key on the back stores the most recent part of the footage. Due to its location, it is easy to rapidly press if an occurrence appears in front. Video is mechanically stored when an impact is discerned, but pushing this button manually is beneficial for saving whatever footage you notice while driving. This camera system includes two USB cables of different lengths, an adapter for the 12 volts lighter socket, as well as a pair of adhesive windscreen mounts which make it convenient to move between cars. Garmin's Drive smartphone app is available for iOS and Android, and is used to set up the camera, it was easy to connect our phone to the dash cam without any issues. Enabling us to see a live view of the camera, update settings, upgrade the firmware, and watch recorded footage. Once configured, you don't need to open the app again unless you want to. Your dash cam will continue recording without interference and data can be easily moved from the micro SD card to your laptop or tablet. The video qualities of this item are remarkable given its size and cost. It records 1080p full HD with HDR, a 140 degree lens, and a 30 FPS rate. The clarity of picture is clear enough to make out even tiny details like road signs or vehicle registration plates no matter the weather or lighting conditions. While we were a bit disappointed that the lens was only 140 degrees, which is about the minimum for dash cams, having a wider view that stretched to the side of the car would have been ideal. However, this is only a minor issue. One other disadvantage of the Garmin Dash Cam Mini 2 is its absence of GPS. Unless it is combined with a Garmin Dash Cam that has GPS by way of the Drive app, location data can only be obtained. This component, named Dash Cam Auto Sync, allows up to four Garmin Dash Cams to videotape simultaneously. Although four could be superfluous for the majority of drivers, the setup simplifies interconnecting front and rear cameras. Garmin's constant power cable is required to use parking mode with the Mini 2 and this cable hardwires the device to your car. The audio recording feature on the back of the dash cam can be turned on or off, but this is not particularly useful for capturing footage from the dash cam and would likely be better disabled if you have passengers in your car. Using Garmin's voice control system, you can control the audio recording of your dash cam without having to press any buttons. Just say hey Garmin and it listens for commands to save footage, take a photo, or enable disable audio recording. It works pretty well. The Garmin Dash Cam Mini 2 lacks driver assistance features, which may be off-putting to some, but we don't mind since they often end up being more annoying than useful. The Dash Cam Mini 2 is excellent in its simplicity, it won't overwhelm you with too many features and instead gets straight to the task of being a top-notch Dash Cam.